Muchaviko said this when he delivered his State of the Region address at Swakopmund. Housing and land delivery, recurrent drought and water shortage are among the top challenges Muchaviko highlighted in his address. Thus, the regional leadership is busy drafting a proposal seeking money from the U.S. Humanitarian Fund to construct 61,000 houses in the region. To ensure that at least we get funding somewhere because the current funding structure of our own will not be able to, we will not be able to address. But we have to go outside and we have to make sure that at least there is a way of funding this very serious challenge that we have. In his State of the Region address last year, Muchaviko announced the establishment of the Irungu Coast to Omaruru Agricultural Development Corridor. Its intention is to turn 300,000 hectares of land stretching from Valvis Bay to Omaruru into an irrigation green scheme. Acquiring a river's desalination plant, he says, is priority in terms of ensuring the plan is realized and to effectively respond to the water crisis in Irongo. At this point in time, we are only at the level of approvals by the U.S.-based uh, humanitarian grant funding. Muchavikwa noted that the Irongo region's underground water sources have been depleted and there is urgent need to desalinate seawater. Renato Rengura, NBC News, Swakopmund.